In the book that is the Bible for UCB, it says one of the biggest mistakes you can make is to try to be funny. Mm -hmm. Can you sort of explain that? Because sure. improv is funny. Improv is funny, but it doesn't have to be. You know, just being funny isn't enough to hold an audience's attention for 30 minutes to an hour. You know, it, just being funny is, it satiates the audience's thirst for uh, a laugh. They came to a comedy show, they want to laugh. And it makes the performer uh, feel as though they're doing their job right. But it's actually not the most important thing. Uh, it, and it oftentimes can get in the way of good scene work or a good show because if you're pursuing laughs instead of uh, building a good scene with your partner, you're sacrificing the show and the scene for personal glory. Uh, and that really is someplace that a lot of performers end up because they are insecure or because they're just, you know, I, you know, I, I say this a lot uh, to people who improvise is like success at improv is putting the audience at ease and is being comfortable with nothing happening. Like when I used to teach the advanced classes at UCB, one of the first exercises I would do is I would have people get on stage and sit and just have the audience watch them. Watch them do nothing, you know? And people's discomfort with being watched is palpable, you know? With knowing that they can't get out of it, knowing that they can't do a funny aside, knowing that they can't whatever. People who really succeed as improvisers are people who are like, I don't care that I'm being watched. I am perfectly comfortable just sitting here, standing here, doing whatever, and that is a great place to start. Because I know, if I step on stage, I know eventually I'll make an audience laugh. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind, you know, like I do a show uh, once a month at UCB. Uh, oh, Michaela Watkins talked about it on this show. And it is a one hour improvised mono scene. It's, we get a suggestion and then we just improvise a scene for an hour. Uh, like a real time unfolding scene. And a lot of times because it's going on so long, there is a real ebb and flow of comedy. So oftentimes this show starts to, uh, starts to have elements that's, that become more serious or more dramatic. And suddenly the audience is not laughing anymore. And so this can go on for, I did a scene with Darcy Carden once where we were waiting to see our marriage counselor and all of these kind of personal grievances and gripes keep bubbling up. And then 20 minutes into like a 60 minute show, she says, I want a divorce. <laughs> and I just started crying. And the audience went silent. <laughs> and it was like, I don't know, six, seven minutes of very unsettling, uh, weeping man talking to uh, a woman who the more emotionally upset I became, I felt like the more the more clear she was that she was doing the right thing in divorcing me. And it was brutal. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe six, seven minutes later, something happened that was so funny that it was like a catharsis for the audience. And you don't get that in other shows because you don't, or you don't, you don't really get the freedom to kind of really grind everything to a halt comedically but fully continue to explore and move forward on an emotional level, on an intellectual level. And as a result, everything that comes after that, even better, even funnier, even richer. Doesn't matter if an audience isn't laughing all the time, you know? Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>